Okay, I'm back for part two. This is TMAC from the forum, and we'll just go over some of the basics of the main page and the main forum menus uh, so you can more easily navigate around. Under the forums uh, menu here, you get the, the very first option is the forum list. This layout is identical to what was on the old message board system and it's in the exact same order as when uh, the board switched the other night so you can get a quick scan of all the forums here like you used to. Um, also the next one down all topics so all topics that are being posted on are just uh, posted here most likely uh, chronologically. For me that's probably a little hard to follow um, then you have your options to post a new topic. You also, if you want to start a new topic, you can start it here. Um, and what's nice is, is if you decide to post a new topic, you just click on it, and when, when you're creating or posting, um, it lets you select the forum you want to put it in. So I'll just create a little test post here so you can see it. Test. Testing. Uh, in one of these test posts here, you're going to see that um, you've got this option now to save as a draft. So if you save this uh, post, let's just say you're doing a tutorial or you're doing an um, explanation of how to repair something or whatever to help another forum member and it's a longer post and you have to go um, do something and you can't finish it, well now you just save it as a draft and when you go back into this forum menus just under post new topic will be manage posts and any drafts you have will be um, saved in here for you to come back later and edit and then post um, I don't think there's any moderation at this point so mostly what you'll see here is just drafts that you've saved and you, when you come back to uh, finish working on that post that you saved as a draft you just click on it and it opens up and away you go. Otherwise if you decide no you don't want to post that you can just hit the trash can over on this side and it'll pop up a box and you say yes I wish to delete it and then it's successfully deleted and you're good to go. The next menu item down um, is all the forums so this way you can access all these through a drop down box and you don't have to go to the main forum list However, if, if you're still comfortable with the old boards, then the very first menu item is the one you're going to be using the most, this one up here. Otherwise, you can go to train forums and select if you're a three rail, two rail, scale person. You can get directly to those submenus. I did have a little trouble on my iPad and Safari selecting these submenus. Um, and then later in the day, it seemed to be working fine. So um, you may not be able to get in through here off of Safari um, just using your finger gestures on the iPad. Um, the uh, layout forum for those people who are in the uh, layout design, electrical or scenery forums, you're going to get to them straight from here. Control systems, deal with command control systems and then your miscellaneous is where your um, uh, sale, you know, where the items for sale are photo albums, announcements, things like that. Um, and then, so that's really the, the, the main issue or the main thing that most of the people are going to be using. When you're inside the forums itself, there's a couple of things to uh, be aware of. Second there, you can navigate through these, um, these hyperlinks right up here. And, and so here's your main forum list then it says that we're in the train forum section under three rail O gauge trains. Um, so that's a good way if you want to get back to the main list you can hit the forums button and this will take you right back to the list of all the different forums. Over on the right side is this right hand column and I know this is driving some people nuts. They think it's a little bit of clutter but this is uh, first off a spot for the advertisers who probably help pay for running the software every month. Um, you have the option of if you're in this form a lot and you want to watch it, you can click the watch button. 
Uh, there's quite a bit of traffic, so if you want to watch uh, some of these forums, be careful because it could send you a lot of email. Um, you could mark all the topics as red, and then there's an RSS feed option. This is a little more advanced if you are using a feed reader um, through Google or, or your browser. Um, you can pull a feed anytime there's a new post put up into the into this forum if you were um, taking the feed then your feed reader would automatically get the messages and you could manage your content through a feed reader. Uh, Google Reader is a pretty good program it's free if you want to try that you could use that. Um, below the sponsors is uh, this box which is recent posts which I am starting to really like um, I wasn't sure if it was that great, but it's kind of interesting to see discussions from some of the other forums popping up here that I don't frequent as much. Uh, there's some interesting uh, things that get posted, so I, um, I'm finding this very useful. Also below this uh, recent is who's online now, and so you know there's still a lot of people who haven't updated their avatar and uh, they should get in there and try and do that when they can. And that's pretty much the main uh, the main page you will be in and you'll be dealing with. The next video I'm going to um, do a, a, a post but do some pretty heavy editing and formatting so you can see how to add pictures, uh, format uh, the margins and, and bold and italicize and all that and uh, hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching.